I had this trailer in the backyard and I hadn't used it for maybe 10 years or more. And so I pulled it out of the backyard and uh, I decided to use the hubs and the wheels for the log splitter. So I cut it up and uh, this is what it looks like now. Maybe I can still use parts of this trailer for something or maybe a lot of this will go for scrap. So I don't want the log splitter to be as low as what the trailer was. What I would like to do is weld a beam in this area here and then across to the other side and then uh, when that's uh, mostly welded in place then I would like to cut this off and remove this piece. So I've already cut it here so that I don't have to cut that later when the beam is in the way. And I've got a piece of cardboard here to establish the angle so that I can draw that angle onto the, the next beam that I want to weld in place here. So I think I should do some spot welds before I try and weld this all together. So I'm using my original pieces along the bottom there to uh, help try and line up the two hubs with each other. So I got some spot welds on there. Okay, so I've got three sides welded on both ends and so I think I can cut the spot welds now and also cut along in this area here and then remove this whole, those two pieces there.
So I made up some caps and try and get them in there. So the caps are on now and also I welded the fourth side here. These are four bolt hubs and I suspect they come from a small car that was roadworthy at one time. And so here it looks like part of the, uh, looks like the brake line has been cut here. And uh, so I think this is the, uh, where the uh, parking brake cable has been cut off. I think that's what that is. So I think it should be more than adequate for um, a log splitter. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.